<laughs> Here's something I've been storing up for a long time over the years. They're called missing area paradoxes or vanishing geometrical vanishes and things as things disappear and reappear my magic. Look how many there are. This is only about half them. There's probably several, probably one, about 150, I think, in my collection. The thing I'm referring to is this thing here, which is the one that really got it started, which is something that Sam Lloyd came out with in 1880, I think it was. It, show, show, it shows warriors, for me to get back and then come back to here. It shows warriors around the earth, and when you move this from northeast to northwest, just turn from there to there and recount them, you'll find that 30, or an extra one has appeared, or one has disappeared, it goes both ways, I remember which. So one makes more, one more warrior more, and the other one one more less. Very clever idea. <clears throat> Since then, there's about another dozen more in my collection showing that effect. And each of them takes a figure and somehow makes it vanish. But it goes a long way back. I mean, that's 1880. And here's something that um, Mel Stover, a wonderful old Canadian who I used to know, came up with showing this goes a long way back. Look at this. This is something in his file. It's uh, there, there's the vanishing area stuff, typical of, of things that vanish. But look at the date at the top of the thing, if I can get it in focus. 1774, that's how far back it goes. Well, no, he's got another piece here, which is even more remarkable. I'll show the front and back quickly first and then slow down. <clears throat> so there's that, and then there's that at the back. And for part of when you analyze this, and I can't read the Italian either, they say, no, this is definitely a geometrical vanish. This is probably, probably a century earlier. Astonishing. So, and some people even suggest it might go back to the late Middle Ages. So this has been around a long, long time, but the one that, you know, that uh, Sam Lloyd came up with um, was a, as a real hit. So come right up to modern times, and there's another version of this, which is very well known, which is, and this is Harry Lang's version. You take that, you take a, a, a card like that, and pull it back to about there. You then got to cut it down there and cross there and swap the pieces around and you get an extra little gnome or troll or Christmas elf appears. So that was okay, but even better, which a year later, he came up with this version, which I think is the, the creme de la creme of my, this area of paradoxes. This one here is superb. What he did was to get three trolls, all very floral and decorated, and when you swap the pieces around, and I'll show a big version of this in a minute, but when you swap the pieces around, you get an extra troll appears as if by magic. Let's go. There we are. Clever things like this bit here at the top of his head in the other position turns out to be a bit of the landscape. I mean, he's done some very clever stuff. Well, I gave this to a friend of mine, G. Mahabir, the magician, who loved it so much, he made a giant version of it and used it as a stage magic thing. And then very kindly, he gave it to me or well, gave me one as a, as a gift. Here are the pieces, look at them. Big, big pieces, these. Look, there's the base, it's all nice thick card too. It's really stiff, sort of stuff you can do on stage. You have to line them up fairly carefully to make sure, I'll start off with the three version, I think, to make sure they all sit there nicely. There we are, and I'll see if I can tilt it up a little bit to the camera. So there we are, Ooh, no, not quite lined, that's just about there. Three trolls, not quite lined there, just oh, a bit more, a bit more. And then all you do, what you have to do is just turn the pieces over. That's all you have to do. And there are hundreds and hundreds of these around, but this is by far the most extravagant version I've ever seen, I think. Now lift it up and you'll find there's an extra one appeared. Literally, some of the face is hidden behind the flowers. An extra troll appears, quite extraordinary. That I think is probably the, the nicest version I've ever seen of this one here. But there's just so many of them, and it's a bit tedious to show just the same idea about the different artists, but occasionally in my collection there's things that really break the mould, particularly one with poetry, and so on, which I must show on another video, because there's a lot of stuff out here in the world of um, the vanishing area, the geometrical vanish, which is very remarkable and very surprising too, until you know what's going on. It's very hard to know exactly how it happens. It's magic. Thank <laughs> you.